Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you how to install BusyBox on an S-On device. If you don't know what S-On is, click the video on the left. This video also requires root, so if you want to find out how to root the HTC Desire 500, click the video on the right. Alright, welcome. So, what you have to do now is to download the BusyBox Flavit from the video description onto your computer. Uh, that's actually something I made. Um, I made it out of the um, out of the busy box by Sterickson. I took a little bit of the Avast anti theft edify update and uh, I combined both of them together uh, to make a flashable zip of busy box. All right, uh, so you now take this file, download it, and download it onto your SD card on the phone. Uh, so that's all we can do on the PC. So let's go to the phone. Alright, so now we've got the zip on our SD card, now it's time to flash BusyBox. So I would recommend you to download the BusyBox free app. Um, you will not be able to install it through that. The phone will just crash. Um, but um, it will say which version is installed and if the installation was successful. So currently here it says BusyBox is installed. So that's true, because I already installed it. but. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do it again. So, what you have to do now is to go into the recovery. I'm doing doing this using Advanced Power Menu, Reboot Menu. If you saw my root tutorial, then you should know how to boot into the recovery. All right, now the iPhone should restart, and it should say entering recovery up there. Yeah, it does. All right. Alright, now we navigate using the volume keys as we already know and we confirm using the power button. Now I'm gonna hit install zip, choose zip from SD card and now I'm gonna select a uh, busy box of live it and so just select that one hit yes, install and it's, it's gonna install just fine as you can see here alright now we're gonna go back and reboot the system and I'm just going to skip that part and show you that it worked. So what you can see just by the way here is my custom boot animation. I flashed this um, if you want a tutorial for that then please let me know. It's fairly easy, it's almost as easy as installing BusyBox so I'm just gonna add on my pin and I'm just gonna skip that because it's none of your business, sorry. So now I just opened up the BusyBox installer and it will say BusyBox version 1.2.2.1 Sterickson is installed. So yeah, great, now we sh you've got the boot anime, now you've got BusyBox installed. It's quite easy, isn't it? So um, for me it's a little harder to build the archives. Um, uh, if you want to know how to do this, then um, let me know. It's fairly easy, but it's a little bit of work. You have to install BusyBox and then hope that your phone does not crash. Extract all the files BusyBox installed and yeah, just... But it works just fine, so you now you have BusyBox on your ass on device permanently installed. I hope that you will like this tutorial and... Um, what, one thing I wanted to add, if you have any questions on this video or in the root tutorial, don't post them under the video, please. And um, if you post them on XDA developers in the HTC Desire 500 Ultimate thread by Dehack LP, uh, it would be much easier for us all because more people will see your question and more people will also see the answer, so more people will be able to help you and more people will be helped when there's an answer. Uh, so please don't post your questions under the video, post them in the XDA developer thread. Um, yeah, and one thing I wanted to thank you for 2000 views on the video, that's very very nice of you. Um, and I hope that you, that you like my videos and if there are any suggestions for any video then please let me know. Like for example I can teach you how to install the Xpost framework, I can teach you how to install the custom boot animation. Um, what else could I teach you? Yeah, I could teach you how to make flushable zips. Um, so please let me know if you want any of these tutorials. And um, thanks for watching.